Ähm, I'm not sure how to take this derivative. All right, let's take a look. Here we have the limit as x approaching zero, and then inside here we have one minus three x, and then the power is called secant x. Here's the deal. If we put zero into all the x's, then we are going to see that the inside is one minus three times zero, and then cosecant is the same as one over sine. So let's write it as one over sine, and then put a zero in here. Have a look. 1 minus 0 is just approaching 1, right? That we can do. Okay? And then sine 0, in fact, well, you have to be careful if it's positive or negative. Because if it's a 0 plus, then this is going to give you 1 over sine 0 plus, which is approaching 1 over 0 plus. And then this is going to give you positive infinity. So you end up with 1 to the positive infinity power. Indeterminate. We have to do more work in order to figure out the answer. If it's a negative right here, 1 over sine 0 minus, this right here is just 1 over 0 minus, and this will give you negative infinity, and you end up with 1 to a negative infinity like this. Still indeterminate. Either way though, we will have to do more work to figure this out. And here's how we can proceed. First, notice that the base is a function, likewise the power is also a function. In this case, it's a good idea to call this limit, let's say capital L for limit, and then take the natural log on both sides, because that way we get to bring the power to the front. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this capital L, and then just go ahead and take the natural log of L, and this will be the same as taking a natural log of that original limit. So the limit as x approaching 0 of 1 minus 3x. Notice cosecant x is the same as 1 over sin x. So let's just write that down instead. So now what? Well, the beauty of doing so is that first, notice that the, L, uh, the limit is on the inside, but because ln is a continuous function, so in fact we can put that on the outside. So just like switch the water. Have a look. This is the same as the limit as x approaching 0 of ln of that function part, which is 1 minus 3x raised to the 1 over sine x power. Then you see that we have this to a power instead of the natural log. We get to bring the power to the front. So no more power to a power case, right? And we will end up the limit as x approaching 0, we have 1 over sin x. We have sin x on the bottom. So let's just go ahead and write that down right here, sin x. And then the numerator is just that, ln of 1 minus 3x. Then we are going to check if we plug in 0 into all the x's, put it here as 0, ln 1 is 0, put 0 in here, sin of 0 is 0. Ah, very nice because we get to use Laputal's rule to help us out. So by Laputal's rule, this right here is equal to the limit as x approaching 0. On the top, take the derivative. The derivative of ln is 1 over the inside, so we have 1 over 1 minus 3x, and don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of the inside. That will give us negative 3. And then, to get the denominator, we take the derivative of the bottom. And the derivative of sin x is cosine x. And then, let's plug in through into all the x's and see if we have a nice number or not. So here we will have negative 3 over 1 minus 3 times x, which is now 0. And then over cosine of 0. Cosine 0 is 1. This right here is 0, so we have 1 on the bottom as well. So on all, all, we end up with negative 3, which is a very nice number. But this is not the answer to the original limit because this is only L and L. So from here, we get to say L and L equals negative 3. 
To get this L by itself, let's just exponentiate both sides. e to this power and e to that power, so that this and that can cancel. And then we'll just get L by itself. What's L? Which is just that. So let's go ahead and put that down. We have the limit as x approaching 0 of 1 minus 3x. Write down the original version. Cosecant x equals, ladies and gentlemen, the final answer is just e to the negative 3 power. Just like that. And of course, you can also write this down as 1 over e to the third power. Right? Put the negative power, like this part on the bottom. So that's it. Hopefully this right here is helpful. Check out my other tutorials on limits over there.